Hi everybody, welcome to my studio in West Orange, New Jersey. You're in the, the uh, third floor of my studio in my home. And I wanted to um, share the studio with you for pretty much one last time uh, before I pack up and head south. Uh, that's right, you heard me correctly, head south. This Pennsylvania turned Jersey girl is moving with her family to uh, North Carolina this summer. I can't tell you more details because we still haven't found a house yet, but as soon as I do, you will know. But in the meantime, uh, this is a little bit of a preview of a, an opportunity that I'm having next Saturday, June 5th, at my home. It's, I'm going to be hosting a yard sale, that is Y, A-R-T-D, um, as an opportunity for you to come and see me in New Jersey one last time and possibly see some work and collect some work uh, before I head down to North Carolina. So I wanted to give you a tour of my studio. Uh, it's probably the cleanest it's gonna be from now until we move. And you can take a peek at sort of the, the changes of my work over the past almost 20 years that I've been working as a professional artist. So why don't you follow me down to the, the stairwell here and I'll show you a few works that um, were done uh, in the mid-teens um, of uh, the past decade. Um, and actually some pieces that were prior to that. So um, if you look down here actually, this piece and this piece over here, step out of the way here, we've got my dishwasher and uh, wedding cake portrait. And those were almost two of the earliest pieces that I was, a uh, series I was working on in my earlier career. I started painting appliance portraits uh, after I, I met my husband and uh, we started, I started an exploration of appliances and what they mean to women um, and their role in our lives and it all began with this dishwasher and at the same time I started working on uh, a series of works called wedding cake portraits which came out of an exploration of the wedding cake and looking at the perfections and imperfections of the wedding day versus marriage as it develops so this is going back to um, the early 2000s and then as you move backwards here on this side of the wall there's a smattering of works from um, my red carpet series there's one of my last few appliance portraits um, forgive me I can't give you titles because some of them are very long and I don't know them offhand but these are some of my red carpet series where uh, appliances and cakes and pies sat on a red carpet um, this was a, one of my larger Kitchen Saints works. We have, a, oh, this is an old series um, of Italian paintings. It's a piece of gelato. Uh, I have a, a more abstract up here uh, appliance portrait from my stint at Peters Valley Craft Center up in uh, Layton, New Jersey and some gelato and one of my sons, Augie, up there. I have done some portrait work. And then if you come back on the other side of the stairwell, you'll see one of my blueberry prints. Uh, the lighting is not great here. There's another one, I think, maybe. I have a few of these left in the series. And then I, more recently, this goes segues into more recent works, including my garden watercolors. Uh, that one keeps, sorry, hanging crooked and I can't straighten it. Uh, several garden watercolors, which was a series I did a couple years ago, um, studying my garden every day. And then going up to my teascapes. There are a few teascapes, um, which then segued into my Take a Seat series. Um, there's also an appliance portrait up there. That one is, this one is sold. Some of my teascapes, some original oil landscapes. Uh, this piece is the one I was mentioning was, this is the piece that sold. Um, this 
this was a an original lino cut and I have a series of these pieces called Saint Mixer and a variety of papers and mats. Some of them are framed, some of them are unframed. And then if we keep going here, there's a little bit more of uh, works over here on the wall of some still lives, some old tile pieces that I have uh, did years ago, looking at both appliances and animals and insects. Um, a lot of cakes and more Italian pieces. Dog portrait, which I'm still working on, dog portraits. But this was an unclaimed one of a dachshund. And then if you come into my studio, um, again, there's more of an array of work spanning the past two decades. Uh, I have several drawings. These were um, experimental drawings I did in art school. Several of them have sold, but I still have some goodies left. Uh, more of my garden watercolor series. So there's a quite a selection here of pieces that you can mix and match. They could be framed. Um, they could be rematted. And if we come over here, you have more of my T-scapes on the wall, as well as my newer Take a Seat series, which are even at the moment unmounted, unframed. Um, all of the work will be available as is, given my timing. I won't be able to frame anything from this point on, so it'll be up to you to frame, but that gives you the opportunity to do things the way you want. still have some other prints remaining. Uh, I have a collection. Oh, I have a few more uh, appliance portraits over here, which I forgot about. Some drawings. Here are some more of the appliance portraits. Oils, original sketches, drawings. There's a self-portrait. Um, in addition, I have a few, I have, uh, I've been playing around with some products featuring my work, so I have a weekender tote left. Can you come back up? My, my son is filming, so I'm, I'm directing as I'm talking. the weather will hold and I'll be able to host the event outside in my backyard under a tent. Uh, you'll be able to talk with me. Um, I am vaccinated. If you are um, coming to my home, um, there'll, there'll be more information on my newsletter and that's a great place to get information. So if you are not a subscriber, if you go to my website, you can fill out numerous pop-ups and you can join my mailing list really easily. I'll be sending out a newsletter uh, very soon uh, with more information about the show, location, um, timing. And uh, there might even be an opportunity. I'm going to send a follow-up video um, that I'm going to take around my house because there's a few pieces downstairs that are not in my studio that are hanging as part of our home that are also available. And those are some really special pieces. And if you come by next Saturday, you could have an opportunity to see them in person in my home. <clears throat> um, so at this point, I want to, you can come in a little bit more, just get another view of the studio. And what I want to also mention is that any of the works that you see here, if there is something that catches your eye, and whether or not you can come on Saturday, if there's something that catches your eye that you are, your, sends your heart singing and has to be yours, send me an email. 
uh, to Jenny at trailworks.com. That's J-E-N-N-I-E at trail with two L's, like a walking trail, but with two L's, works.com. T-R-A-I-L-L-W-O-R-K-S.com. You can also visit my website, trail, www.trailworks.com, and you can reach me through there. But I'm happy to, uh, you know, offer a work to you prior to the to the show on Saturday if uh, something's really special to you. So thank you so much for visiting me and taking a tour on my studio. This has been an amazingly special place um, where a lot of creativity, teaching, learning has happened over the past eight years and I'm going to miss it, but I'm also looking forward to new opportunities and filling in the blank of where we're going to land. Thanks so much and I hope to hear and see